How do we defend against the sacrifice bunt with a runner on first base? We break down this defense in detail coming up next. The sacrifice bunt with a runner on first is not very easy for the offense to make work in Little League because the runner can't leave the base until the ball is in play and the throw to second base is a force play making it that much simpler to get the lead runner. In this Little League World Series Southwest Regional Championship game, we are in the bottom of the fifth inning with the offensive team down by just one run with a fast runner on first base and no one out. Furthermore, a substitute hitter is coming to the plate in the number five spot. That is what we know. This presents an obvious spot to sacrifice bunt. The batter should present early, he's not trying to fool anyone, and ideally he'd bunt towards first base. Why? Because a third baseman has nothing to do but field the ball. There is no other potential job he'll have on this play. In Little League, the first baseman does not have to hold the runner, but if the bunt is hit hard enough, a double play is still possible, so he needs to read the bunt. If we bunt to him, there's really nothing he can do but get the batter out, which is what the offense wants. They want one out with a runner on second base. Here in this play, the hitter does attempt to bunt towards first as the corners come in. The shortstop covers second and the second baseman heads towards first base. Everyone is moving before the ball is even hit, including our outfielders. Great job so far. Once it is obvious the ball is hit back to the pitcher, the first baseman cuts back to his base and the second baseman converts to being a backup. The pitcher squares the field and the catcher needs to call the play. Throw to second or first base. At this point, our catcher has to make the audible call and point to the base he wants the ball to go. Even if the pitcher can hear him, it's helpful for the outfielders and everyone on defense to know where the ball is going so everyone is ready so the catcher should be pointing. Where would you tell the pitcher to throw? What base in this game situation do we want to throw to? And remember, the catcher doesn't get to pause the play or hesitate. They choose to throw to second base. See our shortstop? Notice any problems? Nothing he can't fix before the throw, but this is a force play. He needs to be on the pitcher's side of the bag, ready to stretch to the ball with his glove foot. He needs to be acting like a first baseman. So our shortstop does not adjust, and here is the big problem with the bag straddle setup, even for tag plays. If there is a bad throw on the runner's side, the fielder is blocked. He can't get to that ball because the runner is in the way. If the fielder is on the inside of the bag, he will have room to reach to the bad throw. Maybe they don't get the out, but this wouldn't happen either. Second throws it into center field. It gets past the center fielder, Ross. And just take advantage right here. Just get the out at first base. He turns, tries to go to second, and throw is offline. Then it gets through. Ross in the outfield. As a coach, it might have been a good idea prior to this play to have a mound visit and let them know that you want to get the out at first no matter what. Or at least tell the catcher so he makes that call even if he thinks the out at second is possible. What a turn of events. Huh? And Beard Don't. can get really handle the bunt. We'll get him here, get him here. Uh -huh. Get an out. No oh, got me? Uh -huh. Right here, let's cover. Go ahead and put it on when you get out there. Uh -huh. Hey, keep your heads up. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, block them up, whatever you do. 